Guess where I am. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. This is really fresh. One of the prettiest settings I've ever had for a camp, I do believe. I've had camps with better views, but as far as a setting for camp, this is pretty gorgeous, <laughs> I will admit. Welcome to Georgia. We are in National Forest, but um, right behind me, I don't know, maybe 100 yards, probably maybe 50 yards is a road, and it gets pretty busy certain times of the day, so if I be quiet a minute, you'll probably be able to hear it. So we've been here for about, I think tonight's going to be our third night, and uh, I can't even remember where we are. Okanino? Oh, no. O Okanee National Forest, outside of um, Buckhead. <laughs> we're Buckhead, Georgia, and I think we're like 50 miles maybe east of Atlanta, and uh, we were back there for a couple of nights, and a ranger came by today and said we had to move. He said technically we couldn't camp out there, although there were no signs or anything. Uh, it is some wildlife area, and somebody was supposed to come in today and spray the grass weed killer or whatever, so he asked us to move, so we're here under the tree, which is beautiful, and uh, would have preferred to be under here, except that, of course, we both need solar to power our rigs. So um, so we, we were out in the wide open. But the weather really hasn't been bad here at all. Today was the hottest day. Maybe it got up to low to mid 80s and the humid it's a little humid right now but uh in the heat of the day it hasn't been bad at all uh especially under this tree i sat outside all afternoon and edited videos and had a nice cool breeze and it was really nice so uh yeah welcome to georgia i'm gonna take you around and show you the view one of my favorite <laughs> i'm gonna take you around and show you one of my favorite views of our campsite bob's over there shooting hey bob Say hi, Capone. Want to say hi? We just got back from a walk. Huh, we're, uh, what are we? Maybe a mile from uh, a big, huge lake, Okanee Lake. And unfortunately, the road was too bad for me to get down there. And Bob, too, even. We came in after a big rainstorm, and it was really muddy. And I'm not comfortable with Capone being too close to the water anyway. I am worried about alligators, especially something big like that. That little lake, when I first got to, I think it was, I was in Ocala National Forest. It was a little tiny lake. And I had been on it a few days and I had seen people swim in it and I searched it. So I was pretty confident that he was safe in there. But these giant lakes with lots of overgrowth and stuff like that, uh, it's harder to see, the water's murky. So, just not as confident. Look at that view, though. <laughs> How's that for a camp? Pretty nice, huh? So, we're leaving tomorrow, heading up toward Asheville, North Carolina. Go see your buddy Cody and Bob. Go see Bob. No, he probably, he probably needs water. You want to get a drink? So you can see Bob going out to the main road right there. Oh, and across the road is a train, which uh, conveniently goes by every night at like, I don't know, two or three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> First night we were here, it woke me up. Uh, last night I might've heard it, but I'm not sure it really woke me up. I don't know if that makes any sense. So maybe it was like midnight. We just drove through a crazy rainstorm, and once again, I have the leaks to prove it. And uh, this is my own fault. We, I had a bad leak when we drove through a really bad storm outside of Carthage, Texas. And my RV bathroom vent seems to leak, and the back window, only when I drive through really heavy rainstorms, sitting in rain doesn't bother it. 
and uh, I waited too long when we were traveling. I couldn't fix it because we were traveling uh, every day and I wasn't in one spot long enough to fix it. And uh, I, I just kept putting it off. But I do have the materials with me. I do plan on fixing it now that we can stay put for a couple of days. But this one caused a lot more damage than even the first one. I've got, I mean, uh, it was a deluge. It was a flood of water underneath uh, my laminate floor. So I'm trying to get those dried out. And the mattress needs to be dried out. It got really wet soaking through the back window. And uh, we can and we can stay here a couple of days. I have all the decor and this, everything I need to get my roof repairs done and check out my vent and see what needs to be done about that. I'm gonna be repairing my roof and showing you how Carolyn does it, just like everything. <laughs> So I've lifted up the laminate and propped stuff, <laughs> whatever I could find, boxes, a hatchet underneath to get some airflow, underneath to get some airflow to try to dry out the floor. And as you can see, it is buckling. I uh, This is where I, the first part I dried out. This right here, um, that piece came out and I haven't put it back in all the way. And I don't know if you can see, but I do have some buckling in the laminate from from the flood from the leak so i'm just gonna leave it like this for now and um yeah i'm just gonna have to sell matilda dirt cheap when i'm ready to sell her and for now i just want to make it livable with minimal investment so this is where i'm at Still drying it out. I had dried it almost in two phases. I wanted to dry out between the laminate and the liner because it was really wet there and I thought, you know, the laminate being plastic, there would be, it, it doesn't breathe. So plastic on plastic, I thought that that would be the best breeding ground for mold. The wood, at least, is going to breathe a little bit, but, you know, still I have to dry that out. So it's dried out quite a bit. It's been warm. It's been relatively dry-ish, not, not nearly as humid as Florida, and uh, making progress, but tomorrow we're going to be on the move. So uh, this is my last day of airing it out, and then I'm going to put it back together, and we're just going to have to live with it. And uh, it kind of smells a little musty, so we'll see if that continues, and if it does, I'm probably just going to go ahead and tear it up, paint the floor, and put down vinyl. Ugly, cheap laminate. So... It's not what I would have chosen, so maybe I'll just redo it and do it in vinyl. We shall see. The rate Matilda is going, I really just want to get out. <laughs> mm -hmm. See you on the road. Oh my gosh, so Swords is where we camped. So we actually camped where Federal Troops camped. <laughs> 